We made it. Look, it's the, uh, well, honestly, I don't know what that is. New at Efteling in 2024, the Grand Hotel. That is literally going right here up front. Holy cow. Yeah, they already got some uh, construction going on. I wonder if that's gonna be for like the lobby or something. Wow, that's gonna be cool. Made it through the entrance and those construction barriers still line this pathway. First up is gonna be Symbolica at a 15 minute wait. Sarah and Matt know nothing about this ride. Isn't the castle though amazing? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's it got a, a Disney or something. It's a water ride, so like, when you go in. No, I'm just kidding. Welcome in Symbolica. It is one of our greatest belongs that you... What is this? Oh, silver twinkles. Hello allemaal. Bartus, onze koninklijke toverlaar. We've reached the point in the queue where we have to decide which tour to do. August, what, yeah. what does that even mean? So you can see here the three flags of the three different tours. Um, so this is a tra trackless dark ride, so all the three trains will go like in different directions. And there's one point of the ride where they actually like split up and each train has its own different room. I think my favorite is the Scotland tour, which is like the, I guess like a treasure room or a treasure tour. We just took a ride on Symbolica. What did you think of that? I didn't know what was going on, but it was pretty cool. That's I kind of, yeah, pretty much. But that seems to be the trend because we don't speak the language. That's okay. Yeah, no, the ride beautiful. is like, take a tour of the castle, essentially. So you're seeing all the different rooms. It was beautiful. Yeah, it's very, amazing. very oh, intricate. Well, but yeah, yeah, it's like, it's not an exciting attraction, but it's very, very oh, detailed and cool looking. Yeah, yeah exactly. Very, very cool. From one dark ride to another, next up is Dream Flight. Drum flight. I don't speak Dutch. <laughs> That is such a cool ride. That, I, I literally was like, can we go around again? Like, Everyone beat it. I was saying, I'm like, I don't know what the story was, but it's literally just like you're in a dream. It's just very serene and peaceful. But on that note, is it a roller coaster? Matt, what do you say? We coasted, it uses track, it's a vehicle, might as well. I don't count it, but I think if you do count it, I won't judge. Because people call Who Arthur. You said it was a coaster on the ride. I think it is a coaster. Like I'm, I'm Then why don't you more. count it? I just feel bad. I've never counted as a coaster, so like, why now? <laughs> um, I think it's subjective. I think if it feels like one to you, then you should count it. I think yeah. at the end of the day, that's really what. I think happens. honestly, I, that's felt more like a roller coaster than some that I actually have counted. Like, yeah, like that legitimately feels like one. I like, feel like it, no one uh, like argues that Arthur is not a coaster. So like, if Arthur is, why is this not? If it's like practically the same thing. Yeah. We are now entering Fairy Tale Forest. One of the most iconic things about Efteling that actually I did not do last time I was here. I didn't even know about it, honestly. So now we're making it a priority. This is so cool. We're going down like a cobblestone path. Well, I've seen this dude before. Look at him. It's long neck. And his head is actually coming down right now. I feel like this dude is like so famous. I feel like everyone's seen pictures of him. It's actually really cool to see it in person. Throughout Fairy Tale Forest, they have these mushrooms. They're actually speakers. So it's completely hidden. You can see another one right there. There's another one down there. Ma'am, what big nose you have. Where's your eyes? Why do you look like that? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. 
Excuse me, I'd like to buy some of your bread you got there in that basket. 50 cents later. <laughs> what? Oh Look at my, my gold coins. Gosh. We've reached the end of Fairy Tale Forest and there's a talking tree. You can just tell like all the love and passion that goes into creating this stuff. Like it's very detailed. See, he like sucks. <laughs> that would be my luck. Next up is the giant bird roller coaster. What is with us riding awesome indoor roller coasters with really long trains today? <laughs> That's I have no two. Problem with it. That one was really cool. That was awesome. awesome. It did. I grayed out at two different points yeah. during that ride experience. Did not expect to. I don't actually I had no expectations about it. <laughs> yeah. This, this, this thing's a lot better than I remember. I mean, it's, it's pitch black in there, but you see a bunch of the stars and everything. It's got onboard audio. Yeah, really, really cool experience. Next up, another indoor attraction. I love how many indoor rides there are here. It's very nice. It rains so much here in the Netherlands. It is good to have so many indoor attractions because in case it does rain, you still have a lot of stuff you can do. Yeah. Now, what are we doing here? It's called the Carnival Festival. And it's kind of like it's a small world, but like Dutch version. So like you tour around like the entire world basically. So you see like all these different cultures and stuff. It's just like a thing for small kids, but I really like it. It brings memories from when I was a kid. So I didn't even know this ride existed. Oh, so it's using that classic like haunted mansion style ride vehicle. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh, what is going on? So what they're saying is that each one of these little sections is themed to a different country in Europe. And it's all inspiration based off of some of the things you might find there. So this of course is the United Kingdom. Some are a lot easier to identify than others. Wow. We're now in Germany. Here's how you can tell. I guess it's not just countries in Europe. Here's China. Look at this giant dragon. Wow. I like that more than It's a Small World, because it doesn't have the annoying song. It has its own song that is very catchy. I like it a lot. But it's not worth it. That's the difference. Yes. But like all the different rooms and scenes were like really cool. It was fun. I didn't very quirky. First big roller coaster we're doing is going to be Python. This is an odd one because it was completely retracted and now it is smooth, but last time I remembered it was like really forceless, so I don't know. Here we go. So we did Python. I take back what I said about being forceless, but it is ridiculously smooth. That is actually one of the best like Vacoma loopers, probably because it's like barely even much of a Vacoma looper at this point. But it is like awesome. It's just the track is so weird looking. All right, I'm excited for this one. This is a water coaster. It was built by a comeback. It was actually their only roller coaster that they ever built. They usually do trains. And from what I've heard, this is just an incredible experience. Everyone's saying that this is one of the best rides at Efteling, and uh, I really missed out for not doing this last time. Which actually happened because it is uh, very temperamental, and so it was actually closed for like half the day when I went. But it's open now, and we're going for a ride. This theming is awesome. What's it feel like we're riding again? Pirates! <laughs> Water coaster done. That was cool. What do you think of that? That was actually awesome. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but it was actually worth getting a little wet. Wow. That was really awesome. You know I it's good it. if you're saying that. I really oh. applaud this park for the, its ability to like tell a story without using any words. Like all the dark rides and story driven rides so far. What are you doing? Oh, what the? Oh. Hell no. Oh, hell. You got water? I don't want it. Oh. <laughs> 
spoilers for the ride experience, but there was a moment in it that I did not know about that really caught me off guard. So it like sends you up the lift and it's in complete darkness and it stops you and then like uh, the light illuminates this big like statue of like a face that does this like ha oh, oh, ha oh, thing and like we're you know we're stopped at an incline there I thought we were gonna drop and go backwards into a backwards section because like a lot of European parks like doing that sort of thing but no you then just continue up the lift and then that's when you go into the drop that is right here so something that I did not know about because I'd never seen a POV of this thing and I thought it was really cool Hey Matt, you know what you should get? A meat snack. So this right here is called a cheese snack, and this right there is called a meat snack. Look, it's barren. Ah, oh, that's right, it's so cool. I'm excited to get back on this thing, even though it's just a dive coaster. Uh, presentation of this ride is just amazing. Baron. Baron. 18. 18. 8. 8. En. En. 90. What is the last part of that? 90. 90. So you go and you say Baron 1898. Are you able to do this? Baron 1898. What the f? Baron 1898. Baron love the visuals of this attraction yeah like it is really cool looking so yeah I like this of the many dives in Europe I think this is definitely one of the best ones if not the best seriously just look at this lift system like oh my gosh these supports are so cool just like intricate and really helps with the look I, I honestly don't think this would look the same if those were just like normal B&M support columns here's my favorite view in Efteling Right here of Baron, where you can see the reflection in the water. You can see Jorsen, Drak, Python. Oh, it's so cool. We came to do Max and Mortis, and it is temporarily closed. So, we might try back later. If not, you know, it's just a mock. Whatever. <laughs> So I gotta say, operations today at Efteling have overall been very good, but uh, at Dorsen Drock when it's one side and they are a little bit on the slower side, uh, that is why it has such a long line today. Uh, but we did single rider, I was in row five, I thought it was fine, you know. How'd you think, how'd you I like, like it? This. I've ridden this a lot. I, it's sad because I prefer the blue side. Oh. Um, but they have like issues with it, so they're closed off, but the red side's still fun. I yeah. Like, I like it's all right. There's one section of straight track that's like a little yeah, bizarre. Like, but it's it's cool when you're dueling because you're like straight track versus straight track. And yeah, like that, I but. feel like we experience this ride as a shell of itself because, like, having done it when it's dueling, it's definitely a lot more enjoyable. Um, as a standalone, I think it's fine. It's definitely on the weaker side of the GCIs, though, in my opinion. What do you think, Matt? How you like? It was I. Man, now we're just taking pathways I didn't even know existed. This is literally a dirt path you can take to go around the lake. And now there's a pathway over here on the back side of Jorasandrak. Like, this place is so much bigger than I realized. 
We have like 15 minutes till the park closes, so we're heading towards the front to the last main dark ride that we haven't gotten to yet. This pathway does not even feel like we're in a theme park. What the heck is that? Here we go. Last ride of the day on whatever this thing is called. We're about to go in between this man's legs. I do not like that. <laughs> No, don't do that. <laughs> All right, so there we go, another dark ride done. Uh, that one was extremely well that done. Very, very cool. Very cool. Um, I have to say, like, the, I mean, the roller coasters of this park are great and all, but like, the dark rides are the highlight, which is very much like Disney. I get yeah. a very Disney vibe from here. Obviously, it's not on the same scale, but it's, you know, the same attention to detail. Yeah, and you know, one thing I'll say is like, you know, we were talking to some people who've, who've ridden this for years, and they're like, when they were younger, that ride scared them. I get I'm like, I totally get. There's some like kind of freaky imagery in there, like. You know, I can see you as a little kid, you'd be like, wow, that was like... I, as a kid, used to come here all the time. I was scared of that. Whoa. I used to ride on my grandpa's lap like this. Aww. And the only thing I would watch was the snake at the end. The park has closed, but there's one more attraction still left, and that is the water show that they do here at the end of the night. And so we're camped out here, we got a spot, and we're going to sit out and watch some pretty cool stuff. Oh, So we just saw their nighttime spectacular Aquanura and that was very cool. It was made by the same company that actually did the Bellagio Fountains out in Las Vegas and it showed because it was very reminiscent. It was on this huge grand scale. It was so cool. That was awesome. I, I, was, I don't think we've seen the full potential of the show because it's still sunset. Yeah, at night. At night, Ooh. it's just like... Awesome. Yeah, and something that some of the guys here were telling us is that actually there is a version of the show with Tiesto where they use that music like in sync with it. I'm like, that is so cool. So, yeah, uh, I think that is a perfect way to end out our night here at Efteling. What do you think, guys? First time at Efteling. I loved this uh, park. Love it. Great theme park. I had no, I didn't know anything about the park. The only thing I knew that they had was Baron. So walking in and seeing everything, I was like, that's pretty good. So, <laughs> did you yes. make those exact faces? I did. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> and although I got a little wet today, oh my God. it was okay. <laughs> it was okay. So No, but overall, Eftling was one of my favorite parts of the trip. It's okay. Fantastic. Yeah, they really do like every little, what are you doing? I was gonna say, I very like Efteling. <laughs> every like attraction they have is like a piece of art. Would you stop being weird behind me? It's very distracting. <laughs> I can definitely say I have a much higher opinion of this park this time around than last time. I mean, for one, uh, the sun was shining, it was beautiful weather, all of the attractions that we did, I felt like um, we're in tip-top condition. We did a couple things I didn't get to do last time. They were super fun, like the water coaster, uh, some of the dark rides. So this is a really cool park. I, I definitely like the dark rides as a whole more so than like say the ones at Europa Park, with the exception of the pirate ride at Europa Park. That one was awesome. But like the dark rides here were really cool. I think I agree with what Sarah said. Those were kind of the highlight uh, of this place. Like the roller coasters are solid. Baron is my favorite here. Um, everything else is just kind of all right, although the water coaster was pretty cool. Um, I'd love to see them do more roller coaster wise here in the future, but as it, like an experience based, based place, this was a fantastic time. So I definitely had a good visit, and I'm sure we'll be back at some point in the future, right? I think that's gonna do it from this video. Tomorrow we have a pretty exciting day. We're going to Toverland, but before that, we're gonna make a stop over in Vlodrop of the Netherlands where we will be touring Vakoma. I knew about this one. Yes.
That yeah, wasn't this, a surprise again. This one was planned. <laughs> this one was planned. So, I'm uh, not going to lie. I forgot that was tomorrow, though. Yeah, oh. we're touring Vacoma tomorrow. That's, That's going to be super cool. So tomorrow's going to be an awesome time. It's also going to be like 100 degrees out. So it's going to be very hot. So let's spend most of the day inside of Vacoma. Which is, with and, conditioning, well, and Toverland also has an indoor section. So that's going to be nice. there all day. Hey, and Toverland's open until 9. So, I mean, and right now is around that same time and the temperature is amazing. So, no, tomorrow's going to be awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coastal Studios. We'll see you next time.